Hi, so in this video we're going to carry on talking about density. Now, this is actually the second video in the series and you can visit mathsrap.co.uk and have a look at the first video and also you can download a worksheet there to have a look at some of the problems for yourself. Or you can uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and have a look at the playlist on density. Now, this particular problem is a grade C GCSE problem and is valued at about three or four marks. And normally they will give you enough information to be able to calculate either mass or density or volume within the equation. And the equation is density equals mass divided by volume. Okay, now if you, have, if you have a look at the previous video, that will tell you how we've derived and how we get to that particular equation. So this question, which I'm going to write onto the MathsRap uh, blog post and also on the bottom of the description on the YouTube um, video site, deals with a hexagonal um, cylinder. Um, it's a regular hexagonal prism um, and hopefully my drawings come across okay on the video but it looks something like something like that and the information that you're given is that it's made out of copper uh, the copper has a density of 0.8 grams per cubic centimeter and also the length of the prism is eight centimeters and this area here which they're very usefully given to you is 15 centimeters squared so in other words we're in a position where we've got quite a lot of information and we can put these numbers into this formula in order to calculate the mass which is the information that they're looking for us to, uh, to answer the question. Okay, so let's have a look at this formula itself. Well, the first thing is, is I'm going to rewrite it again. So density equals mass divided by volume. Um, and then we're able to put these, this information into this formula. And what we're going to do then is find a way of getting mass on one side and then the numbers on the other. So the density information we've got, which is 0 0.8, so that's fairly straightforward. Um, and I think it's very important to point out that while I'm doing this, I'm also making sure that the units that we're using in this particular case are all centimetres. Um, it is occasionally you find, on some of the, particularly on some of the higher level GCSE questions, that they might give you this as something like, say, 80 millimetres or something like that, and they expect you to convert it back to centimetres. So it's just something to be aware of with these sorts of questions. Okay, mass we don't know. That's the bit that we're going to, we're going to be looking for to calculate. Um, now, volume... Volume of any product is um, this, this particular area, so it's the area or length times breadth, which is this area, multiplied by the height. So we've been given this area as 15 centimetres squared, and we're going to multiply that by the height, which is 8 centimetres. So in other words, what I can do now is calculate this, and then... We're going to put mass on one side and numbers on the other in order to calculate our final answer. Okay, so 15 times 8. If I just do this on the side, um, I think with these sorts of questions, they generally tend to be calculator questions. Um, but I'm just going to do it as short division at the side here. So 5 times 8 is uh, 40, and that's going to be 120. So in other words, 0 0.8 equals mass divided by 120. Okay, now if you have a look at some of the algebra videos that, uh, that are on the site as well, it will show you that what I normally do with these 
is I multiply both sides by 120. Because if I do that, it'll cancel this side out. And it also means that I get mass left on its own. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply both sides by 120, which means that mass will be 120 times 0.8. Okay, now I'm going to have to have a look at my notes. 120, by 0 point, uh, 120 times 0 0.8 is 96. So 96 equals mass, and mass is measured in grams in this particular case because it was given to us there. So this particular weight of this um, uh, prism is 96 grams. And that would be sufficient in order for you to answer the question and be awarded the full marks. Um, one of the things to uh, also be aware of, apart from looking for units, is also it's really, really useful, if you can, to work down the page, put your equal sign in the middle and you can show the examiner how you've constructed your answer. So when you get to 96 grams at the end there, they can see what you've done every step of the way. Um, I hope that's been useful. Please do add a comment below the video. Um, also visit matterapp.co.uk. Let us know what you think about that. Um, please do post, uh, embed, tweet this video, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thanks then. Bye-bye.